okay our language so default languages are stored here and now i want to create a few items right I want to create few items i don't want to uh, add them using the form you can do this your own way right i'm going to now let's visit the item table here i'm going to create one item here just click on this go because it's contain the uh, auto increment id yes one item is created now i want to store its uh, three translations right okay uh, so how i can do this simply i'm going to go with the insert so you can create this using the laravel form i want to save the time i don't want to uh, repeat the um, basic things right hope if you are watching this series so you know the basic stuff of laravel so that's why i'm skipping this out so first would be the i'm uh, storing the item for the english translation i'm storing the item english translation okay so here i'm going to say uh, what should i say uh, item one right item one something like this okay and then this would be the uh, item name one okay and then this would be the item description one okay and then just click on this so okay we have uh, language id item id we stored the first item translation in english which name is item name one then so on thing okay then i'm going to choose a uh, french then it's uh, item id same let me translate this into the here english to french so this would be for the description okay let me this okay let's go back here i'm going to open this into the new uh, window to easily paste this out here not here just paste it here okay and then go back this would be the item name one okay just paste it here save this one okay it's stored here i'm going to now save the save for arabic let me choose uh, first urdu and then i will do this for the arabic so item oops not this one item name one in urdu okay this one and also item description description okay this one and just click on this go then store this for the arabic just find the arabic item and then let me do this with the arabic description one and this will be the name one let's paste this out and let's click on this go and yes we have uh, four type of translations again uh, we have one item which contain the four type of translations right english translation uh, french then so on okay now i want to display those translations here right to load the translations uh, based on the uh, based on uh, here for example if the cho uh, we choose the language french i want to display the french stuff from the database so we need uh, i need a pretty table so i can do this so let me go to the chat gpt to generate the uh, pretty basic table you can use this uh, uh, use this uh, chat gpt to uh, improve your uh, knowledge and then also you can save your bunch of time so here i in the previous uh when i when i was shooting this series uh which is uh, not good for the um, for the audience because i'm uh i'm facing my microphone issue it's sometime going very higher than going very lower so that's why i'm shooting this uh, reshooting this uh, full series right so i always uh, care about my audience um, otherwise i have completed um, shooted uh series completed but still i'm shooting this again to make this more uh, uh more suitable for the audience to not to uh, bore them okay and uh, let's go here and i'm going to now let's go to the welcome plate 
resources view so let me close this reader it's done now uh, we have this so stuff so let me uh, we have I think only welcome key and this drop down so I'm going to uh, cut those things here in the notepad so I will replace them later so just add it here and then this drop down okay so just add it here and I'm going to basically uh, override overall the design right so just to from this okay so just go here I copied the code let me also remove the doc type uh, I want to oops we have let me copy it again go back paste it and yes and remove this HTML and body because we are ending the HTML body here so let's go back here and give it a refresh and yes we have a pretty table and uh, I also want the nav bar so I think I use the nav bar so here where is my nav bar I think I use the nav bar here so let me find the nav bar yeah this one so I use this thing then I use table there so let me add this nav bar Mm, this nav bar simple page okay before this table I want to add this nav bar then welcome to our this page then this CSS okay just copy this CSS and add it here like uh, nav bar CSS and then let's close this one like this okay paste everything here let's get refresh and yes we have now beautiful nav bar at the top and then this one is a table right awesome uh, here I'm going to change this so uh, welcome to simple page mm, I'm going to say that carrier development development lab here we have an app bar mm, we can say that items okay something like this we can add the margin at the top style margin top uh, 20px make this space between this one margin items it, no it's not working maybe i need to add the important keyword fresh no it's not working how can i add the margin top i'm on the item yeah it's correct maybe padding top because i'm inside this one yeah padding is working fine let me add this 50 make this a little bit more down yes it's now looks fine and this one is carrier development lab here we have multiple options so in this case we have only one home so I'm going to remove the other one from there so remove the home and let's uh, remain this contact us I want to display here if I remove this I want to display here drop down so let me copy the drop down value from here instead the drop down something like this let's get refresh and yes we have now drop down that's fine and let's uh, now uh, make this so uh, refactor uh, yeah refactor not the refactor it would be the let me select all of the one and uh, refactor yeah it's identity it a little bit how it looks fine okay and so we have home so we can add the default route uh, site dot home right so let's get refresh and yes and if I can change the English so yes English I click on the French and yes French right 
Okay, now here I want to load all of the items right here and I want to translate based on the, uh, I want to store the, I want to show the translations of item, right? So I want to load only one item and their translation. So I can rename this to the item one translations, right? To give it a save and yes fine okay my video is going bigger so i will cover the rest of the things in the next video where i'm going to loading this content and then changing it on the on this web page so thank you so much for watching the series so i will meet you in the next one bye bye